Hello, my name is Eddie Tofpik. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Services International Limited. Here is your daily technical analysis of stock index futures. I'll start with UK FTSE futures. And another unusual pattern type yesterday. It was an immediate countering bullish opening white marabozo after last Wednesday's large bearish engulfing pattern type. However, yesterday's action made a new recent high, if only just, and it was all also almost a bullish harami as well. To be honest, this intraday contradictory markets at the highs is not what is needed if prices are to move higher to any degree. Hesitation up here is not welcomed by the bulls, I'm sure. It was nevertheless the seventh consecutive close over the upper trend line, currently at 74.18, of what I'd labelled a possible descending expanding wedge pattern. That's currently 74.27 to 68.47. Now, as you know by now, I haven't been entirely happy with this pattern, hence there is a heavy dose of the word possible in front of it, even now. For starters, it hasn't completed the usual requisite five touches combined of both trend lines, yet leaving that aside for the moment, as well as the short life and steep downward angle of it, leaving all those aside, we still do have this pattern. This leads to two diametrically opposed questions. First question, is there a false break higher? And second question, how high will it move be? Okay, so for question one, well, if it was a false break higher, then we should have known by now. For question two, well, a primary target X would be in the 7867 area, with a secondary and much harder to reach target X1 in the 7946 area. These are big asks of this market, especially from what is in truth a not too good looking descending expanding wedge pattern. So what do we have above as resistances? Well, we've pierced but not yet closed over the obvious one, May's higher 75.99. Then there's a congestion around the due January 2020 high at 76.30, and more recent 76.35 and 76.39 highs. Meanwhile, on the downside, around the broken upper trend line, we have the combination of two moving averages, the rising short medium moving average, currently 74.70, and the medium moving average, currently 74.30. This last bit brings me nicely to a recent factor which, though lagging, may eventually help influence the bullish side. We had a golden cross two weeks ago of the short medium moving average up over the medium moving average. And with that, I'll finish this portion. So far today, though, well, a slightly lower open and a move down, but not too much before a pull back up towards the open. We're looking right now like an indecisive spinning top which interestingly has been captured within the main body of yesterday's action. German DAX futures. Yesterday, well, yesterday I thought last Friday might possibly be a seminal day as a turning point with a new high and more importantly a new high open, one not seen since late March. The session ended as a possible day two and a two day bullish meeting lines pattern closing right on the declining medium moving average currently 14426 then yesterday I opened higher though still within the main body of Friday's action and we did have a good move higher with the highest high and high close since late March it was the first time the market had opened had opened had made a high and low and close over the median moving average well since mid January it was not been the tap that opened the torrent we're still closely associated with the resistances that are now support of the declining medium moving average. The lesser Fibonacci line at 14.393 and the 50% Fibonacci line for 2022 at 14.343. If the market can break free of these, then there would seem to be some good upside potential. However, failing to break free eventually means a test lower and possibly a further move down to the maelstrom of support below down between 13,804 and 14,079. For the moment, this continues to be the first steps the market has taken in moving above the proposed April to May descending expanding wedge pattern, currently 12,578 to 13,872, which is a big move. This pattern now has a primary target X in the 15,440 area and a secondary and harder to get target X1 in the 15,725 area. I say these are big asks. So far today, well, a lower open and a small move lower still. However, this is all within yesterday's main body of action. It's looking like a possible bearish harami right now. 
USC Mini S&P Futures A counter to the counter bullish harami yesterday after the previous session's immediate countering bearish dark cloud cover pattern. Yet it was an odd pattern, looking a little like an indecisive spinning top with a long tongue on top. Despite its bullishness, the action once again rejected the resistances overhead of the upper time, currently 4.4174, the January to March bearish Andrews pitchfork, as well as the middle time, currently 4.4177, the bearish shift pitchfork for the same period. We are today inside the danger period that I've spoken about for weeks now. The crossover of these two tines happens today. I'd earlier highlighted the previous crossover of tines from these two pitchforks on Thursday three weeks ago as a period where one could expect one or more of the following. Volatility, a change in trend or a reinforcement of an existing trend. As I previously said, this was an important time period and I highlighted it with a red circle on my daily chart. I had also drawn another red circle for the next crossover to come for these same pitchforks. This is of the upper time of the bearish Andrews and the middle time of the bearish shift and it is due around the 7th of June today. Hence I renew my warning on what to look for. Look for volatility, a change in trend or else a reinforcement of an existing trend. Other than these overhead, we have the June 21 high at 41.26, as well as the recent 50% Fibonacci line as resistance at 42.19. Meanwhile below, we have the congestion band 39.59 to 40.55 that tried to trap the recent market. So keep a keen eye for what may happen. So far today, a slightly higher open and a failure to move up through the June 21 low a small move lower, not even making as far as the next dynamic support, and that's the rising short moving average currently 4074. Right now, we're looking at a possible third countering bearish engulfing pattern for today. Thank you for listening. The short version broadcast gives essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted with this broadcast. Copyright Zeddy Topic and ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here comes the final bit. <laughs> 